The power of walking away. Do these three things. Instant attraction. Hi everyone, Robert Zink, Miracle Mentor and Alchemy Success Coach. And today we are soaring high like a big, beautiful eagle. And we're always flying in the direction of your dreams and goals. Hi flyers, a little reminder to click that bell icon after you subscribe. We want to thank you for subscribing, but always click the bell icon. That way you'll know when we have a new video for you. Hey, this is exciting. November 11th is right around the corner. We're about two months away at the time of this recording. We believe you deserve the money you desire, the love that you crave, and the health and happiness you depend on. You deserve it all, nothing less. And you're going to receive it all when you attend Manifest Your Perfect Destiny. You see, that's your perfect destiny. Money, love, happiness, abundance, health, vitality, joy, excitement, enthusiasm, life. Oh yeah, it's going to be great. Manifestyourperfectdestiny.com. We're going to be in Sedona, Arizona. I'm going to work hand in glove with you. We're going to work very close together. So be sure and check it out and get signed up now. Well, high flyers walking away from a relationship that isn't quite working the way you had hoped that it would work can often increase your value. Well, it usually does. And when it increases your value, it increases your magnetism. Let me share with you an example. Let's say I were to come to your home and I would knock on your door and I would say, Hey, I've got a box of rocks. I just picked them up from the gravel pit. Do you want them? What would you say? You'd probably say, ah, oh, probably not, Robert. Thanks anyway. But if I came to your door and I knocked on your door and I said, Hey, I have a box of rare diamonds and rubies and emeralds. And would you be interested? Of course you would. Because the diamonds, the rubies, the emeralds, they're rare. You see, when you, when you give yourself value, you become rare. You become like a diamond. But when you're in a state of wanting, hoping, pleading, begging, you're like a street rock and that doesn't help you. It's not becoming of who you really are. You see, if you're chasing after a relationship right now, you're, you're, you're kind of in the street rock mode. You see what I'm saying? And when you're chasing, someone is running. You see on an energy level, on a quantum level, there is no time or space. Everything is right now. And so when you're chasing, when you're chasing in the 3d world, what you're really doing is filling that person up with all your neediness, with all your wanting, with all your pleading and begging. And none of it has any value. It's, it's just, it's low energy. It's low vibrational and it works against you. And more importantly, high flyers, it works against your own self value, your own self worth. You see the higher your self concept, the higher your self worth, the higher your self-respect, self-respect, very important. The higher it is, the higher the standards you have set for yourself, the greater magnetism you have. Now, some of you may be in a relationship that is physically or emotionally abusive. You need to walk away. Some of you are in a relationship where there's a lack of commitment. There's a, ah, I don't know. As long as I'm getting what I want, everything's great. You need to walk away. Maybe you're in a relationship where there's a lot of gaslighting going on and everything is designed to make you feel small about yourself. And you spend most of your time pleading, begging, worrying, wondering, hoping, all that kind of stuff. Maybe you need to walk away. Now I can hear what you're saying. I hear it. But Robert, if I walk away, he'll stop wanting to be with me. He'll get angry and he'll never talk to me again. Robert, if I walk away, she'll have nothing to do with me. She'll find someone else. She'll start dating someone else. And that'll be the end of it. If you believe that high flyers, if you really do, what are you doing in the relationship with this person to begin with? And what does it say 
for your self value, for how much you're valuing yourself on your own journey. This is your life. Now, high flyers, this is not a game. We're not just doing this to manipulate the other person. We're not walking out the door and then looking over our shoulders, hoping that that person is chasing us and running down after us, pleading to have us back. No, that's not why we're doing that. Because if that's your reason, it won't work. It seldom does because you're really not cutting the cord. You're really not cutting the energy cord between you and that other individual. And you need to do that in order to really and truly walk away. High flyers. We are walking away because we're, we're making a statement that from this moment on, we are focused on our own self worth, our own self value. That's what it's about. Your self value. And funny thing is, Funny thing is the more you value yourself, the more others will value you. High flyers. I believe you deserve the love and the kind of relationship you crave. That's why we've helped people in 60 different countries. We've helped people, thousands of people, and we can help you too. claim your 30 minutes of miracle mentoring and alchemy success coaching. Visit us at law of attraction solutions dot com. Find out what a mentoring program can mean for your life. Now, high flyers, this is not about changing them. People have to want to really, in order for change to be real, they have to really and truly want to change on their own. So this is not about you walking away and trying to change them. No, it's about you choosing to empower yourself. This is about you getting back on your own pedestal. So high flyers, number one is give yourself space. And I'm not going to look at, I'm not going to be, you know, drug into this 30 day, no contact stuff. No, 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 no. It could be 10 days. It can be 10 weeks. I don't know. Okay. It's, it's what you need. It's the time you need. Now I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about you. Let's focus. Let's put our attention back here on you again. How much time do you need? Discover the kind of relationship you really want. Not just who you want the relationship with, but the kind of relationship you want and write it down, script it out during this time where you're taking space for yourself, discover who you really are. Get back into the habit of pampering yourself, maybe daily exercise, changing your diet, uh, working out at the gym, going out with friends, doing things that make you feel good about you. Well, number two is give them space. You're giving yourself space, but now give them space. Don't call up three days later and say, Hey, I just wanted to see how you were doing. Eh, no, no, no. Don't do that. Don't text. There's no birthday card text. There's no, oh, this is our anniversary. I'm going to send a little reminder. No, there's none of that. You are giving them space. And by doing that, you're allowing them to start missing you again. Start feeling that, that desire, that hunger to be with you. And as you are raising your vibration, as you are raising your vibration and increasing your attraction and your magnetism, their desire will grow and grow and grow. What you want to do high flyers is you've got to stop linking your consciousness with theirs. You see, they're feeling you, even if you're not talking, even if you've been apart for six months, if all you're doing is thinking about them and not about you, you're linked. Got to unlink the consciousness, give them time, give them space, show them that you are now detached and that you are filling your own life up. You don't need them to fill you up. You don't need them to complete me. Remember in Austin Powers, you complete me, many me. No, you don't need that. You are complete unto yourself. Okay. You desire a beautiful, committed, loving relationship, but you don't need it from them. High flyers. Once you put yourself back up on the pedestal, guess what? 
your attraction grows, your magnetism expands and you feel good about yourself, your destiny, who you are and where you're going. Oh, you're going to feel that sense of value, that sense of importance that your life has. You are beautiful. Never deny that in yourself. Your life is beautiful. Your feelings are worthy. So you deserve to have the kind of relationship that you desire. And number three is practice in your mind. Every day you're going to practice for a few moments, close your eyes and you're going to practice going through daily life, little things, the kind of relationship you desire, not who you desire. Okay. We already know who you desire but the kind of relationship that you desire to have, and you're going to practice living it. You're going to practice saying, no, that's not where I'm going. No, that's not right. You see what happens is people oftentimes they, they break apart and they miss each other and they've had space apart and then they come back and they usually get very intimate, very fast, which is not usually a good idea, but they do that. They get intimate very fast. And then they're right back in the same groove. It's, it's like a drug addict snorting cocaine after being off of it for five years. Instantly, he's right back in the same groove, right back to the same place. You've got to behave differently. You've got to act differently. You've got to act out of self-respect, self-value that keeps your magnetism expanded and keeps your attraction growing and keeps the love you desire flowing. Here's some other videos to help you on your journey.